I'm disassembling this bale for the horses over there because I have to bring them in. And the dogs are madly wagging their tail. <laughs> He's in there. There. He's in there. Oh, look at who it is. He's in his own hole. <laughs> How are you? You good boy, oven mitt. Sink is trying to play. Sink, come out and play. There might be mice in that hole. He has found the coziest place in the bale of straw. And there's time. He's got the second coziest place. Isn't that right? Yes. Isn't that right? I interrupted your bath. I apologize. That was rude of me. Very rude. But I do love Oven Mitt's cozy house. So cozy. <laughs> oh. I think Inga wants to get in here and join him. <laughs> Oh, he's getting so much love. The love bug is getting loved by two terriers. Yes. <laughs> oh. How are you? Are you ready for a hello? Good boy. I gave you a surprise. This is the cream I've been putting on uh, Ebony's bare bottom from the fly strike. I'll do it again. They're all, look, they know the rain is coming. They're all waiting to come down. So I better get to work. You can see the clouds are getting worse and darker and the storm is coming. Oh, you should leave him alone. He's liking his house. Oh, Inca, you've disturbed him so much. He's getting up. <laughs> now Inca's going to go disappear into Oven Mitt's house. Because it's probably so cozy and warm. Isn't that right? Yes. You had such a cozy, warm house. Okay, I can hear the rain starting. I've got to finish hay baling into the ring feeder because they're waiting for me. Look, the alpaca are gathered at the gateway. And time is gathered on the gate. Everybody is waiting to come in. They all know the rain is coming including bare-bottomed ebony. So, can you move out of the way? I'll have to go find Marco Polo. Marco Polo is missing. Here he comes. Good bold boy. Good old boy, I was just about to come look for you. You good boy. Whoops, you get in here and I'll give you your food. There you go. Good man yourself. So, Miss Daisy Rose, I've got to fill up a bit of the uh, water trough. So, you're not to share with Miss Daisy Rose. She doesn't need the extra food. Whereas you do, old man. You need the extra food. Because you're an old boy. You can see he's getting very old. You can see his uh, backbone. He used to be so roundy. 
but he'd easily be in his mid-twenties at this stage in life. So... to do some of your backside. You can see there's a bit of a scab there, but you can see it's all flaking off. So, this cream is gonna be lovely for her. And because she's under shelter, when the rain comes, it won't wash off. So she's doing really well. Despite, yeah, kitty. What's up, kitty? Oh dear, there we go. Oh, she's loving, she loves, she like backs into my hand is like more, more, more. She absolutely loves it when I put this cream on. It just feels so good. A little bit more. There we go. And she smells so good now because of all the lavender and other kind of things in the oil, in the cream. Oh, isn't that lovely? She feels so much better. You can see the horses are munching away. They've had their meal. Here she goes, itching her bum. Let's see if I can put a little cream where she's itching. I might solve that problem. There we go. And all that lovely cream. She's gonna still like it itching her bum anyway. Was that good, Ebony? Did that fit? Did I fix it for you? Did I fix the itch? Did I fix the itch? Did I fix the itch? You're a good girl. So the rain is going to be starting soon. So we're going to have a, another big storm blowing in. So I bring all the horses in because of Marco Polo, because he's elderly and to keep the herd together. And the alpaca are coming in to keep this person company because the flock is on the other side of the farm. And I want to get that right before she's turned out. So... These are the lucky cozy lot, though the others have big trees to shelter under and the ram boys have uh, that lean-to shed in the orchard to shelter under. So, okay. I'm going to leave you now, Ebony. Your bum is feeling so much better, I'm sure. <laughs>